Welcome my darling gist loving people to the gist segment of today and without wasting much of your time let's talk about your page shall we? Prior to the lovey dovey behavior during his birthday party Bella held a space to connect with her fans and someone asked her if she had read the thread of Shex abusing his ex-girlfriend. Here was her response but make her not talk too many. Um, I'm one to experience things myself. I'm, I'm not I'm not that kind of person that would you know go on Google and try to watch something or try to Google something. I'm actually not that that kind of person. So uh, I heard about the thread, right? Um, but no, I didn't. As soon it. as I heard, I want to experience things myself. Now, dear, the thing end for me. Okay, let's say that she truly hasn't read it because why are you fooling here? No one is saying that you should not be in a relationship with the bro. So we are only saying that. We don't want to see or hear tears that will trigger us to say, I told you so. And you see all these people that are saying, oh my God, leave them, leave them, leave them. They're the ones that will still come outside to say, hmm, I talk, um, I be, I be one say I'm boss, make her not look like bad belly. Okay, I mean, you can never advise a woman in love. In fact, they are more blind to the red flags, even if you state it out. But this one has passed, be careful. For people saying, oh, he has changed, really? He showed those signs when he was in the house. How can it drastically change in the space of how many months that they came out? Uh uh. Think about it. Red signs don't turn river. You are still adamant to see it. You just wanna shook your head inside. It's do or die. Continue. We wish you well. Well, after that, as we all know, Bella and Shex have decided to end their public hate and come out clean and clear with their love against all odds. And even though you will come for me for stating this, but okay. We will wait for a reunion and God forbid we hear another thing, Sha. But truly, we're not here to discuss them. Let's let's leave them aside. This ship that I want to gist you about is Fina and Groovy. Hmm. After the house, they were all mushy mushy together. Fina even spent all her winnings on Groovy, but that Baba Jackpa as his C bank account read. But I didn't even know that it was that bad that they could not even sit down together at Sheikh's birthday party. Oh, ha! See the distance. And it's even how he walked away when she was giving her speech to Sheikh's. Is it that bad? And it was looking like he doesn't even want to be there if you look closely. Hmm. Which made all my speculations right. Groovy was just using Fina. And when he got tired of her, he dumped her. Hmm. Fair man, oh. And before rounding up this segment, there's a video that I think I would call disturbing of Daniela, Christy O and a former Big Brother housemate, Wathoni. So I'm still here trying to understand the basis of this video. That's why I said I found it disturbing. It wasn't made for any endorsement deal. Let me just say that one first. And can you see how Daniela and Christy O doesn't fit it at all? I'm guessing this was all Wathoni's idea because what is this? Hmm? Why would they even agree to this in the first place? Wait, are they begging for attention and since cloud chasing is the only way to go, this was a way of getting it? <laughs> you should not do this again, no? which kind of rubbish is this? It's giving village slay queen. Huh. By the way, who saw this friendship between Amaka and Beauty coming? You look this good. <laughs> Your skin is skilling. Girl is girling. You look fabulous. Babe. Oh, has Amaka realized that doing the I can do it by myself no work, and that's why she wants to come body to the nearest person. Oh, well done. Well, that's all I have for you on this Big Brother Nine Judges segment. You know what to do? Click that subscribe button, like, and share.